chicken over, this chicken over, and this chicken over, and I'll just walk over here. I'll put it in this new pro model. I'll slide it back. If you followed all the instructional material, you just get woke, go broke. <laughs> Well, we've got ourselves another Get Woke Go Broke story, folks. This time, it's in the game that is the most near and dear to me in my heart, Magic the Gathering. Essentially, firing a local game store, dooming it to a long-term struggle over having a Kekistan flag on the wall. Now, you might be saying to me, Kekistan, isn't that kind of a dead meme? Yeah, it kind of is. I mean, the ethnic Kekistanis are still at the ready, but it isn't exactly at the forefront of mimology right now. And what I saw happen over the last seven days is absolutely disgusting. It started with a Reddit thread, of course, and led to their termination as a WPN store. Now, if you don't know how Magic the Gathering works, I'm not going to get into that now, but I'm going to explain why... WPN is important. If you're a small local game store and you choose to live that life of poverty, you need to be basically an authorized retailer for certain companies, in this case, Magic the Gathering. Anybody who's been in a local game store knows that the lion's share of the revenue in most of them comes from Magic the Gathering product. Having your WPN status revoked means you cannot host any sanctioned events. That means Friday Night Magic, that means pre-release tournaments. That means pro tour qualifiers. These are some of the most profitable events a local game store can have. And without being WPN, it is extraordinarily difficult to make it and to provide a place for your local players to play. And that means that the hundreds of customers that shop at Fire and Dice will now have to worry about whether or not that their store can even remain open after this. And it's absolutely disgusting. This affects not just players of Magic the Gathering. It affects all their D&D players. It affects all their uh, players for all, every other card game that they have. Uh, Force of Will, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, whatever you're into, uh, you know if you grew up like I did, that the local game store is a safe haven. It's a place where you can go and regardless of everything, you can go and have fun. It's a place where politics wasn't something that happened. It was a place where the everything else in real life just didn't matter. You went and you had fun. It didn't matter what you were playing. Maybe you were playing a board game or you're playing Magic, or Command, or, or Force of Will. It doesn't matter. Uh, and these businesses are extraordinarily difficult to keep running because the profit margins are so thin. Um, Wizards of the Coast helps this by giving WPN stores a discount on product. Now, we had, of course, uh, an offended player, a, 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 an admitted person who wasn't even at the store. My friend sent me a store of fire and dice in Long Island. Seems pretty hoack to me. It was the Magic the Gathering like flyer that somebody memed up and just edited, right? It's a joke. It's a joke. All right. But of course, thread gets locked, thousand upvotes. And it doesn't take long before people are saying, if you Google Kekistan, Charlottesville, you will see all the info you need about it. It's marched by who white supremacists and next to fascist flags. Uh, they also carry the American flag. So are you going to ban the American flag? And it didn't take long then to be signal boosted by one of the largest uh, personalities in Magic the Gathering, Saffron Olive. And I want to make it clear. It is not Saffron Olive's fault this happened. He added to it, but ultimately, the decision to ban the store from the WPN was Wizards of the Coast's decision and nothing more. Which is why in the description, you're going to find a 1-800 number that you can call the Hasbro complaint line and let them know that you prefer that they stay out of politics. And that their small company, a company they own, a company that lost 20% revenue year over year is 
banning one of the most popular stores in New York over internet outrage over a meme. Could very well be immature kids being stupid, but it's still not a great look for a friendly local game. So yeah, no jokes allowed. And then, oh, never mind. Probably not immature kids being stupid. Ooh, a Kakistani flag. I mean, are you kidding me? Wizards, please respond. Turn Tattling, wizards help. Now, if Saffron Olive didn't signal boost this, nothing probably happens. But... You never know because Wizards of the Coast is dumb. Uh, I frequent this store and it is I, the owner is chill and nice. Enforce the rules and welcomes new players. He's not even at the shop right now. He's on a family vacation. This is slander and he's not even able to defend himself. He's trusted someone with his shop and they betrayed him. Uh, it, it's pathetic. Uh, these people are calling a man with uh, an Asian wife and a biracial baby. A, uh, a Klansman. And uh, look at him. Nobody tell the owner of Fire and Dice, but they've got a black. They've got a black there. And then they've got maybe a brown. Oh, no. I mean, nobody tell him, but this guy must have snuck in. Not very good at being a supremacist. Uh, it looks like you've got a couple of brown folks there. Doesn't seem like he'll be up for Klansman of the Month anytime soon. And I spoke to the man last night. I called him at his store to let him know I would be making this video in his support and that we would be mobilizing to call Hasbro. And I also started a GoFundMe for him. Why? Because I don't want him to sell Magic the Gathering product anymore. He has plenty of other products to sell. He sells Pokemon, Force Will, Pop Figures. He can still host his own non-sanctioned tournaments. But he shared with me the feeling of betrayal, a feeling I entirely understand. After dedicating my life to Magic the Gathering since 1994, running one of the largest Magic the Gathering YouTube channels for five years, Unsleeved Media, I was banned with no possibility of appeal over a meme. Same thing with him. He received a call from Wizards of the Coast. They said his store was unsafe for players and that they would be revoking his WPN access. This is 100% due to internet outrage. None of his uh, none of his attendees, none of his customers complained. And now there is a very real chance that this store is not going to be able to make it. If you can't get discounts on Magic the Gathering product, you can't get their premium products, you can't host pre-release or PPTQs, these are the money makers. The rest of the days of the week, most local game stores are flop houses for nerds who go in there and spend like two bucks on a soda. They make their money hosting events. That's the way it works. People don't come in and spend hundreds of dollars on a Tuesday afternoon. They come in for Friday Night Magic. They come in for tournaments. They come in for pro tour qualifiers. They come in for pre-release. None of these things will Fire and Dice be able to do now. It's so disgusting. So I started a small fundraiser. Hopefully we can raise a lot more than $1,000, but I put $100 of my own money in here. And I'm also going to try and do a bit of a a telethon later today so i'll be live streaming later today so even if you don't get the notification around four to five central standard time i'll be going live we're going to talk about fire and dice we're going to talk about getting woke going broke but in the meantime please consider helping them out on gofundme as they transition away from magic the gathering products please consider calling hasbro letting them know the number will be in the description below. Be polite. Remember, the person on the phone is not the person that made the decision. But if they receive a couple hundred complaints, this will be the second major fuck up for Wizards of the Coast. A company shrinking, banning customers and alienating their own customers over Internet outrage, political ideologies. They're just the latest in a long line of companies that are getting woke and going broke.